So where do you put your microcosm in your signal chain? I use the microcosm for all the usual loveliness that you get, but I also like using the looper part of the microcosm for ambience and to be able to throw drones into it and then hit the shift button, change the time and change the pitch of what you're playing. And the microcosm's only got one in, so it hasn't got a stereo in, but you can use a stereo TRS input and then it's got a stereo out. And that's what's really made me always put this sort of middle of my chain before my delays and reverbs. But in an ideal world, I'd like to place this last in my chain. So the good news is I've got a TRS stereo cable that I'm gonna be able to go stereo out of, say, the big sky, and now in through this TRS cable into the back of the microcosm. And I should then be able to get everything stereo out into my door. So let's take a listen to some settings that I've got built into the microcosm and saved. And we'll do that with the microcosm fourth from last in the chain. And then we'll have a play. We'll move the pedal board around, put this last in the chain and hear what that sounds like. That's the microcosm setting that I've got saved. It's a mosaic uh, that I've tweaked a little bit and saved as a preset. Let's add a few other things in. So let's add a bit of uh, the Amplitude X5 in. So we've got this on a, I think a flanger setting. We'll add some hauling from the big sky. And let's add a bit of, a bit of tape delay in from the timeline. So let's get building. So let's take a look around the back. So at the moment we've got stereo in coming into the timeline and that's coming in out of the X vibe here. And then it's stereo out going into the big sky in. And then we've got these two that are going into the door. So these are gonna be the stereo outs now. So they're gonna come out. Uh, and there. So what that means is at the minute, we've got no ins at all going into the microcosm. And that is where the stereo TRS cable comes into play. So we've got two outs that will come out of the back of here, the big sky. And then this one TRS cable will then go into the input of the microcosm. And that should get me all of this in stereo. But before we do that, we need to make some adjustments to the global settings. My buddy, Trevor, shout out to Trevor. He reminded me that the microcosm doesn't come set up for stereo out, comes set up for mono. So I'm gonna to need to go through and change the global settings in here. Page 42 of the instructions tells you quite clearly what you need to do. So it's just holding those two buttons down there, picking which one we wanna impact. So we wanna impact input mode, which is set to activity knob, this knob here. So we hit that. It knows we want to affect that, and we use then the preset selector, which is this knob here, to cycle through. So the left-hand side here is mono, and if I move this, it should go to the two on the right, and that is stereo, and that's what I'm looking for there. And then I hit both of these. There we go. 